Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the all ancestors of a node in a directed acyclic graph problem from Lead Code, and the number for this is 2192. So in the given problem, we have a given positive integer n representing the number of nodes of a directed directed acyclic graph BAG, and the number of uh, the no, the nodes in the graph are numbered from 0 to n minus 1. Suppose we have five uh, suppose we have three nodes so the, they are numbered like 0 1 2 we are given with an 2d integer array edges where edges of i is from i to i so for every particular edge we are given uh, the from and to of that particular edge that denotes that there is a unidirectional edge from i to from from of i to 2 of i in the graph what we have to do is that we have to return a list where list answer where answer of i is the list of all the ancestors of ith node and what is ancestor in a graph so in a directed acyclic graph all the nodes which further lead to a particular node are the ancestor of that particular node like suppose for 3 you can reach 3 from 0 and 1 so 0 and 1 are ancestors like for 6 so 6 you can reach from 3 and 4 also 3 and 4 can be reached from 2 1 and 0 so the ancestor of 6 becomes 0 1 2 3 4 you can see 0 1 2 3 4 so let's see through an example uh, how we are going to do this so initially we have the number of nodes equal to 8 edges we are given this is the same particular example as given in this figure so we have to represent the graph using adjacency list so we represent the graph using adjacency list we try to make an adjacency list at first so for 0 we have connections to 3 and 4 for 1 we have to 3 for 2 we have to 4 and 7 for 3 we have to 5, 6, 7 and similarly we will create the adjacency list for all the nodes in the next step what we will do we will initialize the result list which we will return as the answer as it will consist the list of ancestors of all the nodes in the next step we apply depth first search we start a depth first search from node to find all the reachable nodes and wherever, whenever we reach a particular node what we do the previous node from which we reached this particular node we add that to the ancestor of this particular node suppose we visit node 3 so ancestors are ancestor of 3 are currently 0 then we visit 4 ancestor of 4 are also 0 because initially all, all were 0 no, actually this is when we start DFS from Z, node 0. So when we start DFS from node 0, we can reach 3 and we can reach 4. So both this, in both of these, we'll add 0 to the list. See, you can, we can have added 0 to the result list of 3 and 4. Similarly, we'll perform DFS on all the other remaining elements and as we go ahead while reaching some more nodes we'll add the previous node to the ancestor of the current particular node and at the end we will just simply sort the ancestors while putting it into the answer list and we can return this list so let's come to the coding session but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so in the coding part as I told you the first step was creation of the adjacency list so we have created an adjacency list here this particular part is the result part that we have created this is the result part that we have created this is the adjacency list that we have created and the next step is I add the adding the edges and performing DFS so for DFS we have written a particular code in DFS we visit visit the current element we set the current element to visit to true because we have visited the current element and then 
in the destination of the uh, all the reachable nodes from the graph current we check if it is not visited we add it into the parent that it is the ancestor and then we again perform the dfs on the parent and similarly in the last we sort all the particular sub array lists in the result array and we simply return the result so this is the code you can also check the c++ python and javascript code by going to the solutions panel and check this solution here it contains the java c++ python and javascript code i'll show you here only so this is the javascript code so this is the c++ code this is the python code yes do remember to upload me now let's come to the complexity section so the complexity for building the graph is o of m and uh, each dfs we are performing so that is also o of that is n into m n plus m for dfs part because we are performing n times that why that's why it is n into n plus m and uh, for sorting it is n into k log k k is the maximum number of ancestors that a particular node can have or we can take average in this case so the overall complexity becomes n into n plus m and the space complexity is n plus m because we are creating a graph and all that and also a recursion stack space so that is the time and the space complexity let's run the code so the code runs absolutely fine so i hope you understood the logic do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel